Well, I think the thing is that we keep thinking that we're writing for an audience. And I try to tell students, you're writing for other musicians first, actually. And so you have to write something that musicians can absorb, that a performing musician, that they want to play. And I think you're absolutely right. The first instrument was the voice and maybe the hands and rhythm. And between those things, that music is either singing or dancing. If you can get these sorts of things in you, sort of like even with film music, that there are these moments like when, they, when the couple falls in love, that the music soars and sings or when there's a car chase that the music is dancing, if you will, mm -hmm. with that sort of physical, visceral energy. You have to have both that sense of ecstasy and this almost uh, church-like music. And you also have to have that almost primitive sense of what it really means to thump and dance and feel that energy. Because music is a combination of those things, and those were the earliest impulses. And just like one can scream, that's not very effective in vocal music, because we all know it's just a scream. But what's great is that once the instruments started to take over and instrumental music happened, we found ways of trying to convey that same energy and that same fright that, say, a screaming might have in notes and in various instruments and in orchestration, if you will.